Some of the biggest commentary we always get is like, why do you do so much for your clients during their visits besides just the basic pet care? And ultimately, I always say it brings value to the clients. I don't care what we're doing when we're there. Ultimately, I care about the time that we're there. And lastly, for security purposes. So let's talk about the things that you should be doing during your pet sit visits to make you not just a pet sitter, but a home care provider while they are away that gives value to your client so you can charge more and make more profit, but also keeps your visits safer for your employees or staff. <laughs> So there are five main things that we do on top of the routine pet care, the food, the water, the litter boxes, the medications, the potty care. Those are all routine stuff. And if you want more specific details on exactly how we do those things, we can chat about that later. But today, let's talk about the five things that we don't charge any additional to do during pet care services that bring value to the client and that make your visits more secure and safe um, for the long run for your employees and your company. So the first thing we need to get started with are you need to think about what can you do during your visits that while you have the time there. And that ultimately is determined by what's the pet's primary care services needs and how much time allotment you need for those. And then home care services on top of that. I always say those are secondary to the pet's care, of course, but at the same time, they're just as detrimental. And more often than not, when clients are pissed off, it's usually not because of the pet services, it's because of the home care details that were left not done. Even if you don't promise to have those things done, people see them them and then want them done and then didn't realize they wanted them done until they saw them not done. <laughs> so let's talk about those five things today. Um, hi guys, my name is Amber Van Denzen, by the way, if we haven't met, I am the owner and founder of Attaboy Animal Care, pet sitting and dog walking for the past nine years. I was a veterinary technician for 13 years and I have an animal science bachelor's degree and all that fun stuff. But today, let's talk about those five things and how they bring value to your company. One of the other mean services, the first one we're talking about is plant care. So many people became plant parents for the pet in the past couple years more than normal. And then before that, there was always plenty of plant parents as well. Um, but we do water plants, mostly indoors, but if they have us ask us to check back porch, front porch plants, whatever, that's fine. We always tell them we're not liable if this thing dies, but we will try our darndest to make sure it doesn't. And you will be surprised how many people worry about their plants when they're going to be gone for a weekend. So adding plant care into that time allotment for your services can be a huge benefit to your clients and doesn't cost you any more time or, or effort rather to do. And it can be bundled in the time that you're already there. The next thing we want to do is turning off lights and rotating curtains open and closed while our visits are being done. We want to make sure these um, curtains, especially or blinds or whatever, are usually open in certain strategic areas during the day and closed in certain strategic areas at night. This makes the house more, more, more lived in. So if any bad guys were thinking about making some bad choices, they'd be looking at things like this, especially if they were watching a house for multiple days prior to the client leaving even, and they know routinely these are open during the day and closed at night and all of a sudden they're closed all the time it makes it very probable that that client is away and makes that home more prone to potentially being broken into it takes just a few seconds to open these up and make sure all that detail is taken care of the next thing we wanted to worry about is trash and recycling both indoors and outdoors we want to take out the indoor recycling and trash Thank you. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, somebody had a good time. It was me. I, I, I have a good time. <laughs> we want to take these out so there's no odor or smell that may be uh, holding up into the house. And we want to take them out to the curb on Trash and Recycling Day for two main reasons. First, for the client's benefit. Who hates having a full trash can or recycling bin for a whole extra week because you forgot to take it out? Now they're on vacation and they have to come back and that's gonna be a problem because we didn't take it out. The second reason, again, is those bad guys. Those bad guys are looking for patterns like that where things aren't getting taken out like they should and now they see a full trash or recycling bin by the house potentially or on the side of the house and that is a trigger of, hey, those people may be away let's take advantage of that situation. If you're not sweeping, vacuuming, or mopping the areas that the pets are um, 
in while the client is away, especially after multiple days away and that hair is building up or those dirt paw prints are getting more prominent in the house, you should be. Ultimately, this is our responsibility. These pets are making these messes and we need to be cleaning them up while the client's away. Now, I'm not saying we're a house care service by any means, but we are. We should be responsible for taking care of any messes that the pets cleaned up. So you should be swiffering, sweeping, vacuuming, mopping, whatever that entails to keep that home in the same state it was when the clients arrived. Now, if you can't find these items, which happens all the time, um, ultimately you can find things such as rag towels uh, underneath your foot. Um, usually more often than not, somebody has some type of sweeper of some sort. Have I in a really bad scenario been able, able to find it and bring my own? Yes, I try to avoid that though because that's not our ultimate responsibility if they choose not to supply us the items to take care of those. We do ask for the location of all these items in our client software so we do know where this information is hopefully um, uh, before we have those services but things get moved all the time or they break or they forgot to replace them and what we do and alternatively is in the report we then say hey we attempted to sweep them up but we can't find those tools anywhere can you let us know where they're at so we can update the software we can complete the service and keep that cleanliness level where it should be and last but not least, you should be bringing in these packages. If you haven't already, you should definitely be and checking the mail, especially if it's on their house or on their property. Why? Once again, bad guys. They can steal these packages, they can notice the mail being filled up, and they'll check mailboxes to see if they're full, and that can be a potential warning that clients are not home. So if you're not bringing in these packages or checking in their mail, bad guys can be more prone to burglarizing the home when your sitters are there, which makes it dangerous for them too. As for packages, the one thing that I found that you really need to be careful of is if you're not entering from the front of the home, such as a side or a garage, and you're not being near the front door, it's really easy to miss when packages have arrived because you're not passing by them. So be sure to make sure at least once a day, especially on Sundays too, because they deliver packages on Sundays, that you are checking for packages um, and your mail as well. Because I would be, I, I can't tell you how many times a sitter accidentally forgot to check the mail, say one day that the client hadn't come home and they were pissed because we didn't check the mail that one time. And, and, and it would have been sometimes even just a junk mail flyer, but they were pissed that we didn't check it. And it happens sometimes because again, not priority always, pets priority first. And then ultimately that's the thing that gets us and bites us in the ass. So always check for those packages and mail for many, many reasons. Plus if there's goods in there like food, it's gonna melt, especially in those hot summer heat. And pro tip status, when you're bringing that um, mail and packages in, put them on the counter neatly. I'm not talking about just shoved in a pile, but like actually make it, you know, in a neat line situation. Because we've had plenty of clients notice that too and go, wow, even my mail was in a nice order and not just thrown on the counter. Or wow, they took the newspapers out of the plastic so it was easier for me to process them. Like the little things that we do that make a difference. If I find trash randomly that's definitely empty or a half-filled cup and I know they're gonna be away from a week, I'm gonna prevent any gross stuff from happening. I'm gonna recycle this can. I'm gonna take that uh, cup and wash it if there's a couple of dishes left, even though again, I'm not a house service and they should have done that before. Who hasn't left the house accidentally not cleaning that last spoon or those couple of dishes or maybe your kids put them in before you left? So I would rather have that and clean them and prevent any stink or buggies coming versus leave it there and be like, yeah, they come there and there's rotting dishes. That's that's not cool, guys. So just do it, accept it, put it in the report. Like, hey, you left a couple of dishes. We cleaned them up for you. Next time, make sure you get those cleaned up and you're good to go. But now, if you guys have any questions or if you have ideas of what you add to your visits to make them above and beyond adding those extra steps and really making that customer experience top-notch gold star right on top of that assignment let us know down in the comments before uh, below I look forward to talking to you guys soon uh, I, as I always say apparently I'm a lot of worse at words for I'm at a loss of words for today there we go I'm not even gonna cut that out <laughs> happy pets happy people guys bye bye